Well, hello again. Albert Wesker here, and welcome back for more wonderful memories that we've all experienced in the universe of the Umbrella Corporation, in some way, shape, or form. Last week, we remembered the first time we witnessed the appeal of a certain lady in red. But this week, we remember the first time we realized what we were getting ourselves into. The first zombie, and the first liquor. The Arclay Mansion. Think back to that very first time you entered the survival horror. Up till this point, the only threat you encountered was some strange dogs in a cutscene. Easy enough to deal with. Place a phone call to PETA, no big deal. You are wandering this strange mansion. Or as my PlayStation 1 counterpart would say, Wow, what a mansion! You turn a random hall corner, and lo and behold, an introduction no one would ever forget. From that moment on, it was clear. You and your friends were not only alone in this mansion. Around any corner could lie a hard-to-kill zombie. But the fun didn't stop there. Little did the fans know that our sequel would top that introduction with flying colors. Flash forward to Raccoon City. It's police station of all places, where Chris's little sister just happened to end up in the middle of the chaos. Zombies everywhere. All of us at this point believed we've seen it all, and we were prepared for anything. Walking through the nice wide hallways, no zombies in sight, but once again, let your guard down, and behold, what in all the heavenly nether realms is that thing? These were the days of true horror. A small, fast, and creepily designed creature that was created just to mess with you. Horrifying. And for those who never realized, just know, the zombies and the liquors are one and the same. Yeah, the full mutation of a T-Virus zombie is a pecking order. It goes you, to zombie, to crimson head, to liquor. Think about that. It's a fact. I know. Mind blown. Something to think on until we meet again. <laughs> <laughs>